He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie It Comes at Night. Now, this is directed by Trey Edward Schultz. He did this amazing independent film last year called Krisha, and it was just it's such a small independent film. It was just so good. And when I saw the preview for this film, I was like, wow, that looks intriguing, that looks interesting, I want to see what he's going to be doing next. This movie stars Joel Edgerton and Christopher Abbott, and it is about a family who is li living secluded in the middle of the forest, like their house is all boarded up, they're, they're just by themselves, and you don't really know what's going on. There's some sort of threat to mankind, and they don't go out at night, and they kind of explain the rules, and you, you really just don't know what's going on, until... This other family comes in dire need of help. They have like a small child. They need to be boarded. They, they need some place to live. So the two families end up living together in this home in the middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere, being threatened by this unknown source, and they have to live together and hope nobody gets infected. The trailer for this movie made it seem like it was going to be a straight-up horror film. I will just let you know that it is not. It is definitely a psychological thriller, and a lot of people are going into this movie thinking it's going to be some sort of horror movie, but I just want you, if you are going to go see this movie, you need to know that it's not a horror movie per se, it's more of a thriller, and I just don't want you to be disappointed. Because the trailer was a little misleading, and there is so much about this movie that doesn't get explained, and that was the hardest part for me. I don't mind an open-ended movie where they don't have any sort of reveal. No, no, I want a reveal. Like, you, for me, you have to have a reveal. But they worked the entire film up to this one point, and it just didn't happen for me. And what they did do with the twist or the turn pissed me off. I was so angry by the events of this movie by the end of it. I was literally, I was just angry, at, and I was upset with where they went with it because I did not think it was going to... I didn't like how it went. It just didn't feel good. Let me back up a little bit. The director is obviously an amazing actor's director because he was able to get these great performances out of his actors. It's more of a visual movie. There's not a lot of dialogue, but everybody did an incredible job, and I give kudos to the direction and the actors. The problem I have was with the plot. It seemed like I was watching an episode or two episodes of The Walking Dead, and not even very good ones. It, it just seemed very familiar and something I've seen before. I, I see, I've seen this on The Walking Dead, minus the zombies, so what's the cool part of this movie? Spoiler alert, there's no zombies. It's, it was just very slow and, and not that interesting to me. I was really bored for a lot of this film waiting for something big and massive to happen. And like what I said, when they, that thing does get revealed, it pissed me off. I didn't like where they went with it. I saw that they might be going in that direction. And when they went there, I was like, no, no, please, something else. So overall, I say if you are going to see this movie, just go in knowing that it's a thriller. It's not a horror movie. But honestly, I would not recommend seeing this film in the theater. I, I, I don't even think I would recommend renting this movie. I feel horrible saying that because the director is so awesome. But it just wasn't... A fresh take on anything. It just felt very recycled, reused. It's a psychological thriller. Whoop de effing do. It's called It Comes at Night. It's not that great. I won't see it. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.